Hi, I'm Anna Polly. Welcome back to the e-learning crash test. If you're new here, this is a series where we examine actual online courses, identify what's going wrong, and rebuild the slides into something that actually works for learners. Today's case is a course on pipeline management. Sounds like sales, right? Well, some design choices made it look more like plumbing. Let's walk for six slides but miss the mark and see how some minor fixes can turn them into engaging, learner-friendly experiences. Here's the course cover. At first glance, it's confusing. First, pipes as a metaphor make you think of construction, not sales. So the image doesn't connect to the topic. Also, the colors and layout aren't strong enough to grab attention. And the title feels too light. It doesn't have the visual weight that the headline needs. Here's how I redesigned it into something clearer and more inviting. I will bet you can already see the differences. The title is now bold and dominant, so it instantly signals what the course is about. The background shows a blurred sales panel with jeers, finally a metaphor that fits the topic. I also added polygonal shapes that flow through the funnel like leads turning into revenue. Nice touch, right? On top of that, you can see learner-friendly cues like 16 minutes and this course has audio right on the cover. Now the slide set up expectations and makes the course feel professional. But what happens when you click on start? You land on the introduction slide. And here's where the trouble continues. The intro slide falls flat. It's just a blog of text, no structure except paragraphs. Besides, there's no headline, so learners don't know where to start. And the illustration of books stands the wrong message. It looks academic, not practical. Here's what I did to give it a makeover. I changed the headline. Now it directs the learner's focus. The text is also broken into clearer chunks, so it's much easier to scan. I also added this small icon which symbolizes an increasing profit or revenue growth. It's a small detail, but it reinforces the idea of value and results instead of textbooks. And the guide character carries over from the cover, giving the course a sense of continuity. Okay. The introduction now says the right focus, but then comes the first content slide and suddenly walls of text again. Let's look at the statistics page. Did you even notice the numbers? Probably not. Important statistics disappear in the text. The illustration of an office doesn't help either because it doesn't connect to the numbers. But this is easy to fix. I split the content into two layers. The stats are now visualized in a graph, so it's easy to compare the numbers and make sense of them. These key numbers are highlighted, so learner's eyes go straight to the facts. And here's a small but effective twist. A character pops up at just the right moment to point out the main takeaway. As you can see, I love animated characters and if you want to add them to your course, Icebring Suite's content library is the way to go. They are diverse, friendly, and always add more personality to your content. Literally. This combination keeps attention sharp. Learners won't skim past the data. Things are already looking much better, right? But when the course explains the difference between creating and managing a pipeline, the design put us right back into overload. Two dense columns of text no clear visual threat, and an icon that is unrelated to the topic. I would skip this slide, wouldn't you? To solve this problem, I restructured it into a step-by-step -step flow. Each piece of information is delivered in a small portion. On the top of that, now you can click on the See Example button that adds interactivity. By the way, if you are not a PowerPoint guru and putting together interactive elements in the PowerPoint interface is challenging, iSpring Suite is a great alternative. It's a really easy to add interactive elements to your content with the tool. And you can choose from a variety of options. And one final fix, the headline. It anchors the whole slide. Now, instead of a textbook page, 
the learners get a guided journey. So we've fixed that with a step-by-step -step interactive format. The learner stays engaged, but engagement also depends on navigation. And the original menu for balancing pipeline and prospecting time that you see here is, well, let's just say it's confusing. Honestly, this is one of the usability nightmare. I see three different fonts, including decorated ones, which is pretty bad for readability. Here, it's not obvious, but this is a menu. The section looks more like random links. Colors don't follow any logic, which adds to the confusion. And with no visuals, the slide feels dry. I will bet you already know how to work with. Of course, they need a proper interactive menu. Now it makes the structure obvious. A clear icon and button also help because they guide learners to the first section. And instead of cramming details in here, each section opens as a pop-up, like this. That's how navigation should feel. Intuitive, simple, and motivating the learner to click through. Okay, that's finally sorted out as a clean, transparent menu. But before we wrap up, let's check the last slide, a dialogue example. Here, the character speech blends into the main text. The busy furniture background steals attention and the right side is just overcrowded. I don't know if it feels the same way, but it distracted me from the content. It definitely needs some fixing. First, I changed the character. This one looks more dynamic and it matched the background. I also added a speech bubble so it's instantly clear what belongs to the character. Darkening and blurring the background is also a good step here. Now it supports a slide theme instead of distracting learners from engaging with the text. This makes the character's input feel purposeful rather than just lost in the chaos. And that's it! This makeover was fun and now the course looks, feels and works much better. What can you learn from this crash test? First, visual metaphors matter. The one one can derail meaning, like the one that pipes on the before slides. Another takeaway, tag structure drives attention. Break it down, don't overwhelm learners. And finally, navigation should never make learners guess. Make it as clear as you can to support progress. By sticking to these simple design principles, you can turn a messy slide deck into a course that feels smooth, engaging, and easy to follow. And the right tools are here to help you. Try Ice Cream Suite for free during a 14-day trial and practice doing these course makeovers with me. Find the link to the trial in the video description below. And that's a wrap for today's e-learning crash test. If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. And if you've come across a course that could use some serious fixing, send it my way. Maybe we'll feature it in an upcoming episode. I'm Anna Polly. Thanks for watching. See you soon.